Scan the name tag to follow me on Instagram to receive more and instant updates about me and my YouTube channel. In this video, I will teach you how to access the files on your computer from anywhere in the world by just connecting to the internet. And by saying this, I don't mean to use cloud. I'm going to teach you to literally access your computer from anywhere on the internet. Without further ado, let's get started. First off, you need to download Python. So open your browser and go to python.org slash downloads and hit enter. Now scroll down and search for the version Python 2.7.15 and click download. Now based on the operating system you use, download the Python installation file. Since I'm using the Windows operating system, I'll download the Windows installer. Once the download is done, open the installer and install Python on your computer. Once you're done installing Python, open your advanced system settings. Now click on environment variables. Over here click on new and in the variable name enter python underscore home. Now open your file explorer and go to your C drive and then go to python 27. Now copy this directory and come back to the environment variables window and paste the directory in the variable path and click on ok. Once you have done that just search for the variable name path. Select it and click on edit. Now click on new and type in mod python underscore home followed by another mod. Now click ok and click ok again. So now we have successfully installed python on your computer and to see if you install python just open your command prompt and type in python and hit enter and now as you can see if you see something like this it means that you have installed python successfully and now you need to install pip on your computer go to this link which will be given in the description below and then copy the first command in this web page now open your command prompt and paste this command and hit enter this is going to download getpip.py onto your computer. Once this process is done, go back to the web page and copy the second command. Paste it into the command prompt and hit enter. This is going to download pip onto your computer. Once the process is done, go back to your python folder and then click on scripts. Now copy this directory and go back to your advanced system settings. Click on environment variables and click on path and click on edit. Now click on new and paste the directory here and click ok twice or maybe thrice. So now close your command prompt and open it again and then type in pip and hit enter. And if you see some instructions like these then it means that you have successfully installed pip on your computer. Now in the same CMD window, type in pip space install space pyftpdlib and hit enter. This is going to download pyftpdlib which is an external library you need to run the script. Now go back to your browser and go to ngrock.com. Over here just click on sign up and register for a new ngrock account. Now you'll be taken to a web page like this. Over here just download ngrog for your operating system. Once the download is done just go to the downloads folder and extract the downloaded file. Now open the extracted folder and double click on ngrog. This will open up a command prompt window like this. Now go back to your ngrog dashboard and click on auth. Over here you can find your authentication token, just copy it. Now come back to the command prompt window and here type in ngrog.exe space A-U-T-H token space the copied authentication token and hit enter. This is going to authenticate your ngrog command prompt to your ngrog account. 
Now in the same command prompt, type in ngdoc.exe space tcp space 1560. This is going to create a secure tunnel from your local host to the ngdoc server. Once you hit enter, it will show you a prompt like this where you can see your current session status and your unique ngdoc port. Wait until the session status says online. Now it's time to finally download the script. Go to github.com slash teja156 slash simple file access. Over here scroll down and click on clone or download and then select download zip. Once the file is downloaded, open the downloads folder and extract the zip file. Now open the extracted folder and inside it you will find another folder which says simple file access dash master. Open it and copy all the files which are present in it. Now come back one step and paste all the files in this directory. After doing that you can simply delete the file which says simple file access dash master. Now open the file named ftpserver.py with notepad or notepad++. On the 25th line, change the username to whatever you wish. For example, I'll be changing it to Teja. And on the 26th line, change the password to your password. For example, I'll be setting the password as test password. And um, on the next line, you will see a variable saying path. Now change this to the directory which you want to make accessible to the whole internet. In my case, I want my F drive to be accessible by the server. So I'll just go to my F drive and copy the directory and come back to the script and replace the default directory to my F drive directory and make sure that if there is a backslash in your directory or path, make sure that there is another backslash because a backslash indicates an escape character in python so you'll have to do two backslashes and in the next line which says script path you need to change this default directory to the path where the script is downloaded on your computer in my case the script is downloaded in the downloads folder and then in the folder named simple file access so just go to your script folder and copy the directory and come back to your script file and replace the default directory to the directory where the script folder is downloaded. Now also make sure that wherever there exists a backslash you put another backslash in front or behind it. Once you do this you are pretty much done and you have configured the script. Now go ahead and save the script. So now it's time to run the script. Open your command prompt and move to the directory where the script folder is located on your computer. In my case, it's located in downloads slash simple file access. So I'll move to that folder using the CD command. And then if you're using a Windows computer, just type in Python W space FTP server dot pi and hit enter. Once you do this, the script is running in the background. You can just close the command prompt window now and make sure that this ngrock command prompt always stays open. So now the server is up and running. Now for anyone to access your computer, they will need to go to this link which says 0.tcp.ngrock.io colon a unique port number. So if anyone accesses this link, they will be connected to your computer and they will be able to access it if they enter the username and password. All right, so now let's go ahead and test this out. All right, so now I'm on my MacBook and I'll try to access my Windows computer by going to the ngrock link. So as soon as I go to that link, I'll be taken to a dashboard like this. Well, I don't think the login form is properly designed because I am a terrible web designer. But anyway, so here you need to enter your username and password and I will just enter my username, which is Teja. And I'll also enter my password, which is test password. And once I just click on login, it's going to take some time to log in. And if the username and password are correct, I'll be taken to a screen like this where I can see all the 
list of files which are located in my f drive so i can just download or view any of these files and i can do basically anything so and when you're trying to download some file from this ftp server chrome is basically t going to tell you that define that the file is harmful just because it, you're downloading it from an unusual link but you have to know that these are nothing but your files so obviously you know which files are dangerous or which files are not so obviously you can just ignore the warning given by chrome and you can just download the files so that's it you have seen the server is running and you can basically access your files or download them and you can do anything you wish using this server and in order to quit the server just open your task manager and go to the details tab and search for a process named pythonw.exe and right click on the process and select end process tree and that's going to end the server so that is it for this video thank you for watching and uh, if you like this video don't forget to leave a thumbs up below if you have any doubts regarding this video feel free to use the comment section below i'll try to reply to your comments and also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon thanks for watching once again Cheers, meet you in the next video.